And I've heard Lamar Jackson say he wants to win Super Bowls. He wants to win a bunch of Super Bowls. I mean, I think there was a time where he was like, I want to be like Brady. He remember him saying that early in his career. Well, Brady wouldn't be missing OTAs in year four of his career. I just That's where I want to say to some of these young quarterbacks. They always – I hear like, oh, I want to be like Brady. I want to have a career like Brady. Well, then do what Brady does. Brady didn't miss an OTA until he had played in four Super Bowls and, you know, started to get married and then started to miss a few OTAs. But then things didn't go that great in 2010 and 11 and 12. And you know what he started doing? I'm going to be back at OTAs. I'm going to get a little bit better and we need this. That's where just from the football standpoint, I, I just don't get it. I don't at all. Man, sit your dumb ass down. I'm putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds Baltimore Ravens coat Purple trim, big body, old school for low Purple rim, 7-7 seven, seven, cutty Come on, man Like, come on, dude This This dude Chris Is volunteer OTAs And you see I, I just been hearing about it Hearing about it first take, first thing first, undisputed. It's volunteer. Like even Lamar had a tweet about it. And you see he he even getting tired of what he said. He said, Lamar wants to be Lamar, Chris. This part of OTAs is voluntary. Terry, my guy. Uh, he said, my God, it, it reminds me of, uh, what's his name? He said, I will be there, just not on your watch. It's probably other QBs not attending. Voluntary OTAs either. But since it's Lamar, it's a huge deal. And it seems to be that way. There's a lot of other quarterbacks that is not in OTAs. But he also put, because he knows he, they're going to be probably talking about this. He also put at the bottom, my training coach, which is Adam. And, uh, yeah, Adam coach, let's say, uh, future Hall of Famer Drew Brees, future Hall of Famer Tom Brady. Uh, he coached Matt Ryan. Uh, he coached Matthew Stafford. Yeah, that's just the name of few. So yeah, he's he's doing what he needs to do, spending more time with his QB coach before he gets to volunteer OTAs, which he's talking about. Oh, he should be, he should be, you know, with his rookie uh, center, getting to know them better and things such as that. Yeah, we're in what, May? We got a long way. We got a long way. Hey, they could be even texting each other, talking on the phone, DMing each other. We don't know. But it, Lamar has this under control. And it's just a trip out how. Everybody is talking about Lamar, but they ain't talking about these other quarterbacks that's not at OTAs, which is voluntary. Like, what else? He already tweeted, I can't wait to be back with my guys. But that wasn't good enough. And I'm sitting here looking at all of these analysts trying to tell Lamar what he should be doing for volunteer. Mandatory? I can understand you probably have a story. But the guy has said it himself. Can't wait to be back with my guys. And I know some people is like, well, why are you sitting there saying that? He should just go out there and do it. He's working with his quarterback coach. He probably already paid for the time in the schedule of that quarterback coach, which is very popular. Tom House representative. And you expect him to just go to a volunteer OTAs, which he's already he already meshed with, you know, Bateman and Mandrews and Prochet and Wallace and Dev all in the off season. 
But since he missed the volunteer OTAs, that is a huge problem. Really? Boy, they just searching. But like it's like what Lamar say. When it's about Lamar, it's a big deal. I can't wait for him to just hush these dudes up with our young wide receiving core. It's going to be a beautiful thing for a lot of these haters.